I'm going to make a cherry pie, cherry pie, no sugar. Now, one thing that I want to say is um, that's sort of not true because there's fructose in the cherries that I'm going to use, but I'm not adding any sugar. Now, we'll add a tiny bit of sugar to the pie crust. That's it. We're talking about three tables of sugar, three tablespoons of sugar in the pie crust. None in the filling itself. None. Now, I'm making this from scratch. Uh, can you call me daddy? Katya can call me little daddy. You can't, okay? Um, by the way, if you're seeing this later, this is a live stream. So um, there's people making comments, and occasionally I'll be forced to make comments back to them. Um, the cherries are sweet enough. Bingo, but we are gonna use uh, sour cherries. We're not gonna use the sweet cherries. So um, it's sort of like, like a Pop-Tart. It ends up being sort of like a Pop-Tart, but you don't need to add a cup and a half of sugar like the recipes say, it's ridiculous. Um, how do you cook dog man meat? On the barbecue, dude. What a, what kind of question is that? That's like, Jesus Christ. Um, yes, there is a, a video of, um, look at this. It's one of my shirts. You can get it on Teespring. That's Marty. It's chronic. Oh, thank, thank you, uh, Bob Bing. Um, smart Martin. This Martin. Big duber in his mouth. It's, it's not marijuana. It's a prop duber. It's not even real. We don't do that here. And I suggest if any of you all are, are doing that, I um, I urge you not to. Okay. It's not. It's wrong. It's wrong. There's a reason why they call it the the devil's weed. Okay. So just stay away from that. That's very generous of you, by the way. Thank you. That's very nice. Um, it is. It's wrong. Okay, and everybody knows it. So don't 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 do that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, can can you say hi to my girlfriend, Alyssa, or is it Alisa? Honey, how do you pronounce this name? A L L Y S S A. How do you pronounce that name? Alyssa. Uh, Roger and Alyssa. Uh, hey, Alyssa, what's up? See? By the way, I have Cameo now. I'm doing a Cameo tomorrow for a dude, for his buddy that's a, a, a Bigfoot enthusiast and, and hunts the dogs. So I, I do have Cameo. It's under my name. I could post a link, but you could go to Cameo and probably just find it. Go to Peter Kane. Jesus, you look old. Well, I am old, idiot. Yeah, get rid of this idiot. See, that's just that's just fucking stupid. Like, oh, Jesus, I look. Yeah, well, my girlfriend's 23, dude. How's your girlfriend? Yeah, I am old. Um, what's your point? Let's see what you look like. What are you like in eighth grade? There you go. See, um, Peter, I thought you gave up Bigfooting. No, I haven't given that up. What do you mean? I'm the, the Bigfoot community president. I'm president of the Bigfoot community. Honey, am I, uh, is it true that I'm Bigfoot community president and president of the Bigfoot community? Affirmative. She said affirmative. That, that's the first lady of the Big Book community. Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, I don't know what, what that means. That, that looks like uh, Chinese. I don't know what that means. But it's only $1.99, so I'm, I'm almost tempted to remove it and tell you to keep your money because you could be writing something inappropriate. Um, seriously. Uh, you're a werewolf? 
if you were a werewolf, I would know that. And I, I, I don't know who you are. I'm also president of the werewolf community. That's a fact. Um, hail to the chief. Thank you. Um, Bigfoot community supreme leader. Well, I don't want to sound like that. That sounds like I'm in North Korea or something. Um, is it P-O-T-B-F-C or B-F-C-P? It's both. Uh, anyone speak Chinese? That's a good question. I don't. But if that person starts putting stuff here, we're going to get rid of it. You can't, you can't, matter of fact, I think I'm going to get rid of it right now. I don't know what that was. So I'm sorry. Maybe you should. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know what this means. So I'm going to remove your comment. I, you, you can get your money back. We, we don't do that here. You're not gonna. You're not gonna just write whatever you want. I'm sorry. I don't. Honey, do you speak um, Cantonese or anything? Do you speak any anything like that? No. Yeah, she said no. Okay, but she speaks like eight different languages. So you put something else here in German. Pig Latin. I forgot the other things that she speaks, but she speaks a lot of, a lot of languages. Uh, she's artistically mature. You talking about uh, Katya? Yes, she is. Um, I am really making a pie, by the way. I'm at Wegmans. No, you're not. Wegmans is closed. Well, no, it isn't. It is open. Uh, I speak bad English. Okay, so I am going to make this pie. And um, I just wanted to tell you all, I, I have dough already, already made. But I want to show you all how to make the dough, and it's real easy. And a lot of people are freaked out about, like, making dough. There's no reason to go to the grocery store and buy those pre-made pie shells. Making dough for a pie is so simple. It's so easy. You cannot screw this up. It's so simple. And the, basically it's flour, butter, or you could use uh, shortening or lard, um, a tiny bit of sugar, a um, little bit of water, some vanilla, and a tiny dash of salt. Now, I... I, I think I did tell you all this. I, I do not use measuring cups or anything. I just don't do that. Um, if, if you want to measure stuff out, waste your time doing that BS, that's your business. But um, it's real. this is really easy to make. Um, about three cups of flour in a bowl. Oh, by the way, I just wanted to remind everybody. Yes, it says, look at this. Can, can you see that? Well, it's backwards for me, but maybe you want. Flour is raw. Please cook it. Don't eat raw flour. Don't do that. It's not good for you, and it, it, it's going to taste like, it's going to taste terrible. And by the way, flour when you have it in a bowl and you add water, you know what you're making? Paper mache. Keep that in mind. So I'm going to put about three cups in here. Yeah, that's about three cups, give or take. About three cups, right? Now, um, we're going to use this. I'm going to add... Um, Probably, what are we going to do? We'll do two sticks of butter. Oh, thank you. Uh, no, so you're doing it again. We told you you can't, you can't put language that we don't know what you're saying. I'm sorry, but I'm removing it. So, um, Toxic, if you're here, you see this dude doing this. We don't want his $1.99. I don't want your money, dude. 
you do it again, I'm just going to hide you. And that's it. Because clearly you're a troll. Okay, go, go do whatever you need to do, Toxic. So put the two sticks of butter in. Like that. Now you do not need a mixer. We don't have anything like that here. It's like uh, we're living on the prairie. This is a fact. We don't, we don't have. We do have a. We have a blender and some power tools. I got some. Um, I got some torches in the barn, and um, I. I do. I, I've set up with a uh, a forge. I made made a chastity belt recently. It's made out of metal. So two, two sticks of butter, about three cups of flour. And um, since I'm using mostly, mostly flour, but you could make this with a cup and a half of shortening, I'm going to add some shortening because it makes for a really great pie crust. So I'm going to add some shortening. But like I said, you, you can use lard. And... If you talk to like old school people, like I, I run into like um, like in Brooklyn, like in Brooklyn, some 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 old lady at the grocery store buying lard. I remember this. She was saying, saying so I was buying it for the dogs. It's a fat supplement, and um, you should whatever. Whatever, dude. Thanks for the two bucks. Hey, hang on. Where's my pen? Honey, what's uh, L-A-M? I don't know. I don't know either. Roger on that. Somebody just uh, gave two bucks and... So I'm a minister. I am a minister, by the way. So, um, I just want to tell you, it is, uh, you know what it is the truth it is it's, it's a time of year that people, uh, are generous, but you should be generous all year round. It, it, it's, it's, it, don't hide me. I'm not a troll, just a random. Yeah. You just got hit, dude. Uh, I'm not doing this. I don't, I don't like your vernacular, but what I wanted to say is a lot of people give money during Christmas. That's not, it's not really the spirit of giving. You should, you know, when you see that homeless guy in the summer, they need to eat then, you know, during the summer too. So yeah, give during Christmas and, and there's a lot of people out of work and everything, but um, it isn't just this time of year. You know, it's all year round. So I got I got Crisco and I got butter in here. Now, here's um here's an interesting tool that I love. I had this in the barn. This is a pastry cutter. And it, you can pick one of these up. They're real cheap, and it's gonna be helpful if you're gonna make. Oh, thank you, thank you, uh, Jimmy Playlist. How much would I have? Oh, the message was deleted by Toxic. Yeah, Jimmy Playlist. Thank you, Toxic. We don't need your five bucks if you're, um, you know, think that it's an opportunity to just write anything you want. We don't care. We don't. We don't need your money. We don't. But this thing will chop up the butter. Now the butter. You want to do this when the butter. Yeah. Are you trying to get a hold of me? Uh, over. No, actually. I'm not sure what that was. Uh, I think I uh, had it in my pocket and I hit the table. Over. Roger. Uh, Roger, Roger that rubber doggy. I'll put it. I'll put it in my pocket here. So, so if if you have this, like you, what you do is you you put the the butter in here, like cold you get i've even done it frozen 
and you start smashing it up and then it, it just turns into like little pieces and that's sort of what you want it's not sort of what you want that is what you want so you keep taking the pie the pastry cutter and just making it into little pieces so easy i'm going to add a little salt um looking for the salt probably in here here's some salt i'll open this bad boy up Brand new salt. We found this at the uh, at my art studio. We were closing it down. It was like the one food item that um, wasn't disgusting that we could bring here. Let's see, uh, honey, was the art studio disgusting or what? Affirmative. Affirmative. She said affirmative. It was gross. Trust me, it was gross. It's time for that place to... I'd much rather make art here. And I'd rush, much rather make art with Katia. And that's the truth. I'd rather make art with you, baby, than anyone. I love you. No, I love you. We're not going to get all mushy, baby. We will later. I'm pretty mushy. Sweetie, am, am I, do I get sort of mushy with you? Like. Affirmative. Affirmative. I'm, I'm a wuss. I'm pretty much a wuss. I'm wet. I'm a, I'm a simp. Interesting enough, I didn't know what a simp was like a year and a half ago. But now I do. I know what that is. It's all those things that I, I didn't know what they were. And now I do. Like an insult, a simp. Um, I'm going to put a little salt in there. Like a half a teaspoon. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Generous person. Oh, iniquities. Hey, uh, glad I, yeah, thank you. A good, a good person. Uh, all the people that are associated with my channel are awesome. You should, people should join this channel. I, I'll put a link down below. I mean, you don't have to. I mean, if you're a tool, don't do it. Um, I mean, I would, I would join this channel. Watch this. Watch how I do this. I'm a, practically a hacker. Um, membership. Um, go. Copy link. And then we put it here. Paste. There you go. Join. Join. Uh, what if you're broken, unemployed like me? Well, are you, then we're all, all in the same club, aren't we? Um, so another thing that I'm going to add is about, now this is just for the, for the crust. I'm going to add about three tablespoons of sugar. Okay, that, that's it. Oop. Yeah, that's, that's about it. Okay. But a little fast, but maybe it's about four, to tell you the truth. But um, that's fine. I might add a little flour to this. Um, so I'll be making a little, little bit more. You just keep chopping it up. It's a fact. So this, this is how you make a pie down in Alabama. That's toxic. They know how to make pies in Alabama. That's the truth. All those, um, you know, all those people from the south that can cook. I'm from uh, St. Louis. It's sort of the south. It's not, it's not from it's not the north. This is the north. It's not that, not that far north. I'll tell you something. I'm glad it's not any farther north. Like uh, Maine, 
No thanks. Sounds miserable up there. Alaska? No. no. Maybe in the summer. Vermont? Get the fuck out of here. It's cold as shit there. This is a, a USD growing zone. Uh, oh, hang on here. Who do I see? Oh, Chili Mac. And Nessa. And Toxic. Um, but this is growing growing zone, USD growing zone five. I don't think I could handle living in a four or a three. Is that freaking Chili Mac? Oh yeah, welcome to Juvenile Sasquatch, Chili Mac. There you go. See, Chili Mac joined. What's the matter with you people? Um, if, if, if I had my choice of growing USDA growing zone, so it would be like some place where I could grow oranges, maybe. Something like that. That'd be all right. I don't know. Like Canada. Like, like how do people live in Canada? It's freezing up there. There's no place that's warm. It's warm. Chili Mac. Look at this shirt, Chili Mac. Who's that look like? It's Martin. It's your nephew, Martin. Oh, who, who's this? Welcome to Baby Sasquatch, uh, Jimmy Playlist. Welcome, welcome, my friend. Hi, right, Jimmy Playlist and uh, Chili Mac. They're on Baby Sasquatch level. That's awesome. Nice. Awesome, nice. Did you hear that? We got, we got these today. They're real. This is real important buy. There was a, a, a gift from Katya's dad. Pretty much. Well, yeah, pretty much. So you just keep chopping it up like this. You really, you don't want to get... Uh, you, you don't want to do this warm. You want to make sure the butter's at least cold. And frozen really is not a bad way to do it. Now, I, there, is, there is this bummer that I'm about to do. That's this imitation vanilla flavor. Right? That's all I have. It's all I have. So I'm going to use it, but I'm not real happy about using it. it it's, it's lousy. So I'd use regular vanilla, but I don't have that right now. So um, this was like a pandemic buy, and I can't remember why. I was thinking that I was going to need it, but obviously we sort of do. So there's a lot of stuff that I bought right when the pandemic started, like $1,200 worth of meat. I didn't want to run out. Dogs are back on raw diet, by the way. The pet food was horrible. Honey, wasn't uh, having the dogs on pet food horrible? That was nice. We couldn't even walk in the backyard. Roger that. We couldn't even walk in the backyard. It was horrible. The smell, it was, it was really bad. But um, just did not know if, you know, chicken was going to be available. And to be perfectly honest, it probably, there were times that it probably shouldn't have been. I mean, I remember going to Wegmans once and um, there was no meat. But, I mean, pretty much it's sort of back to normal. But, I mean, there were times that they probably should have shut down some of these, you know, chicken places, but they didn't because... President is uh, ruthless and really doesn't care and gets sick. I'm not, I'm not talking about our future new president, our president elect. So I'm sorry, am I bumming anybody out that, that wanted Donald J. Trump again? Because I'm sorry, I didn't want him. I was a Republican and now I'm not because of what happened with that this last four years. I'm not going to talk about it anymore because I'm making a pie. 
okay? So stop crying. It's about making a pie. I don't want to talk politics anymore. Honey, I'm not talking about politics anymore. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm not, I'm not doing that. So um, it sort of looks like it, it's all chopped up real good. I'm telling you, invest in one of these. You don't need a mixer. You don't need a Cuisinart. Well, I guess, I don't know. I guess it would be sort of nice to have a Cuisinart. We, we've, we've talked about it, like getting a food processor. Like I was just the, just the other day, I was saying, like, if we had tahini, we could just take chickpeas, some garlic, some lemon, some olive oil, and make hummus. But we don't really, we have a blender. Maybe, maybe we'll get a food processor. But so, so you can see it's sort of, oh, can you see that? It's sort of like, so it's all, the butter's all chopped up in there. So now I'll add a little water. Add a little water, and mix it up. That's that's my son's solar tent. Now this this stuff, this, this uh High crust dough. You can you can freeze it. So, um, but you know, after you sort of get it mixed up, you're gonna want to chill it down anyway because you want it cold before you roll it out. So, um, you know, get, keep keep that keep that in mind. So you, you if you if you want to make pie dough, you want to make a bunch of it. You can make it. make it and put it in the freezer. That's what I'm saying. And right now I'm just sort of mixing it up together. And it's not, you see, it's not like um, sticking to my hands. It's not that wet. There's moisture, but it's not, you don't want it that wet. I might add a little water. And if it does get a little too wet, then I add a little bit of flour. Just trying to mix it up and get it to a point where it's like sort of like I can form form it into a ball. It's not like bread dough. And when you're doing this, you're also sort of smashing it. So you're kind of smashing the butter and the shortening. Oh look at that, thank you. Thank you, uh Thank you, Isaac. Longtime fan, Lars. Taught me how to treat and train my dog. No more sleeping in my bed. He has his own now. Very, very good. That's great. Because if you let the dog sleep in your bed, it screws up the status of the dog, Jilly Mac. Right? Jilly? I don't know what Jilly Mac was. Her dog's pretty cute. Pretty cute dog. Oh, this smells great. It smells like cookie dough. Now, I'm going to add a little little bit more water. Just uh, like a tablespoon. Not much. That's it. Don't overdo it. First time I made a pie, I was um, maybe third grade. I was cooking in first grade, but it was mostly like like cakes, cookies, stuff like that. Um, you know, pie, pie is a little bit more advanced than I thought it was. It's not. It's very simple. But 
when, when, I, when I was a kid, my mom had in the kitchen had the, the Joy of Cooking, which is a great book. And I've, I've read, that's one of the few books that I've read more than once. I've read The Joy of Cooking. God, there was times when I was hungry. I didn't have, I didn't have money to eat. And I grabbed The Joy of Cooking and um, sort of read about the stuff that I wanted to eat. It sort of made me more hungry, but I don't know. That was back when I was like starving. Like um, Kansas City, making art. I look back at those days like fondly, but it was rough. I know you know, that's back in my drinking days too. So, um, you know, yeah, think about the best of times and the worst of times, sort of. So, like right now, like this, it forms a ball, kind of stays together. And then what I do with this, I want to chill it down for a little bit, right? So but I'm gonna I'm gonna use the other ball of dough. I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna put it uh, plastic wrap. Right oh, that smells great. Um, here it is. I don't know how long you can keep it on the freezer, but I would imagine a pretty long time. But um, we're into pies now, so this will probably be used. I don't know. We'll eat a pie in a day, something like that. Honey, how long does it take for us to eat a pie? Five hours. Five hours? No. Twelve hours, Roger. Twelve hours, half a day. So let's take this. I'm going to wrap it up a little bit more. Now you, you could use this this pie dough, and you could roll it out and make like turnovers with it too. I, I've done that. I did that just recently. So I'm just gonna put this in the freezer. And we'll use it later. There you go. Now I use the pie dough that I made the other day. Let's move this off. This is, this is real simple. It's so simple. I, well, I have cooked professionally in case you were wondering. No, no, nothing fancy though. Um, so what you, what you do is you take some flour I, I like to roll it out on wood. You know, butcher block's great. You throw the flour down so that when you're rolling it out, it doesn't stick. It doesn't stick. Take the dough. This is the dough I made the other day. I'm gonna plop it there. I'm going to cut some off. It's too much. Put this over here. I'm just going to take it, smash it down a little bit. Start rolling it out.
just uh, it's really not that big of a deal. Just want to make it not too thick, not too thin. You just want it to be able to like go into the, the the pie pan. By the way, I'm using glass. Stick in a little bit. Solar, what are you doing? Uh, I'll take the pie pan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grease it. I, I can't find the uh, the spray. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some butter, put it on a paper towel. Can't have enough butter. It's the truth. Butter's delicious. in. It's broken a little bit. You can do that. Like this little, little piece right there. Take a little bit and just smash it in there. Detailed shot, but this is live stream, so I'm not going to worry about it. Solar. So we'll take that. We're going to use this for the top. Um, honey, could you do? Oh, hang on. Sweetie, could you give me a uh, the bag of tart cherries out of the freezer? Roger that, tart cherries. 
So put this over here. Do the same thing at the top. Oh, that's beautiful, thank you. Oh, that's great. There you go. Look at who it is. Vampyro. Yes, I am. Thank you. Look who it is. So this is this is real simple. Let's just take a pan. I'm gonna take a whole bag of cherries. There's a uh, there's a bag of sweet cherries. Can you go gr grab me those two? Jeans. Yes, we do. 30 30. She looks totally different in a mall. Like, totally. Peter has like 30 pairs of jeans. That's true. So I'm going to throw a half a bag of the sweet cherries in just because I don't want I don't want, to be, um, I don't want this to be sort of shy. Um, but you know, it's just like I don't want it to cave. Okay, then we'll do that. So you just have the, the cherries in here. And this is all we're gonna do to it. Watch this. Okay. Real simple. If you put them in there, they're not gonna thicken up. So you add a little cornstarch to the cherries, right? You just want them dusted. So so it looks like that, right? And then you just mix these up so they're all white. Okay, now I'm, I'm putting them in frozen. This pie cooks for about two hours. So just make, make sure they're all dissolved. Starch is on there and then put them in. Same thing. It's real easy. Katya Katya makes great bread. She's a bread girl. And vegetables. It's true. She's being all, all quiet. I like making bread. I started making bread like like a year ago. You just need the basic ratios, and then you can do it. Because she comes from a bread making family. They're bakers, right? Kind 
put it, put it. Are they saying a mine just stopped or is Kai just like, what a mess? Someone's asking you to sing the same way you can. Yeah, go get your. She can play the flute. Can you play the flute? It's in my car. Oh, damn it. She plays the oh, flute. Oh, I have a recorder. I'll get the recorder. Oh, she's got a recorder. Hang on. Nothing's too good for you all. Seriously. Nothing. Oops. Watch, watch this. Witchcraft I performed in order to um, seduce Peter. Katia did make that recorder, by the way, out of a piece of pipe. Yeah, this is made out of copper. Copper pipe. She's not fucking around. Well, that sounds native. That's the full song. Just like two measures. It, it, that that that's the song that got me hooked, isn't it? Yeah. I was, I heard that song. It's true. I heard the song, and I was like, "Oh fuck!" I'm in love. It's true, baby. I, I heard that. We don't. I don't want. We're not gonna get mushy here. <laughs> we're not doing that, Jameson Shipley. Jameson knows about getting mushy. Uh, we need to write an album. Put out an album. We are putting out an album. We're working on our sound room right now. Yes, it's true. We've been we painted the sound room. It, it's the room is, farthest away from the dogs. It, it it is true. And it's also the room where we um we cook in sometimes. We will we will cook up there. The room, yeah. it's all, uh, I call it, I call it the room. Anything we cook upstairs is called the upstairs. So if you cook green beans upstairs, they're the upstairs green beans. That's true. Makes sense. Um, talk about the pie, Peter. I'm talking about the pie. The crust is sort of screwing with me, but it's all right. It's fine. It's fine. The pie's doing just fine. I'm not, not going to freak out about it. I'm under a lot of pressure, Jameson Shipley. Thank you. Um, it's the same thing. I'm just going to cut around the edge. Now, I did, to be perfectly honest, I did change my crust here um, recently. This is a totally different crust. It's more of like a butter crust and, um, well, making excuses, but it, 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 it'll be fine is what I'm saying. So I, I think what I'm trying to say is you do not have to go buy a crust. You don't have to buy that crust at the grocery store. That's crap. This, um, this pie isn't totally perfect, but it's perfect enough. And I'm not done with it either, so maybe it'll be more perfect. Peter, do dogs like music? Um, uh, yes, they do. 
I don't know if they really give a shit, to tell you the truth. Uh, some dogs don't like it at all. So, so, I mean, you know, birds, I think, like it more. Like, Katya will play the bass for peaches. So, so now I take the, 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 the pie, and I just sort of like, I just sort of like make a, put it together by squeezing my, my fingers and my thumbs together. And I go around the whole pie to put the top with the bottom. this and um, this looks pretty bad actually another one looked better than the other day I'm under pressure doing this in a lot this isn't like we get to um, edit it or anything pie is better than no pie it's true So just going around the edges a little bit more, and then um, I'm going to throw it in the oven. Now the deal with this pie is that you have to you have to cook it for two hours at 350, and if you don't, your, your crust isn't going to you're going to take it out, and at the bottom of the crust is not going to be it's not going to be done. It's going to be soggy. So the other thing that you're going to need to do is poke some some holes in it right on the top so that steam can escape. All right, so just go around the top like this. You don't have to worry about it. Just like that, like that, that, that. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it in the oven. I, I haven't heated the oven, which I should have. So I'm gonna turn this on, turn it up to 450. Turn it up to 450 and then when I put the pie in, I'll turn it down. But um, there you go. It's a it's a it's a, it's a pie. But it, it the, the thing about the pie is is that like there's there's no added sugar other than like there's some sugar in the crust. It's ridiculous the amount of sugar that's put into everything. Just sugar and everything. We're not eating it anymore. I'm addicted to it. I am. If I, if I have a Snickers right now, then I'm going to eat Snickers all the time. It's horrible. It re really is. It's, it's horrible. It's, it's horribly addictive. So um, the, the dough that's left, same thing. I'm just going to take it, and I'm going to put it into a bowl, and I'll use this for um, making turnovers, like peach turnovers. So we'll use this tomorrow or the next day. So we're just going to put it back into a bowl. And then put in some plastic. We use the plastic that waste not want on it. We're all about the environment here. It's true. And there you go. And who is this? Peter, how tall are you also? How is Romulus? I am five seven and a half. Katia, how tall are you? Five eight and three quarters. She's taller than me. Doesn't bother me a bit. Years younger. You know the way I look at it is, yeah. Peter and our my age difference is thirty four, and I'm twenty three. So then, if you subtract off my age from the age difference, then it's only eleven years. So we're only eleven years apart. Right, baby. It's true. It is. It's true. Yeah. Um, too talented, large. Bye. Bye for real, dude. Oh, okay. Later, dude. All right. I'm going to put the pie in. And then, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe this is it. Because I did, I did do the video that I said that I was going to do. And here's the pie, and it's going in. Gilligan's Island. This is the only thing about us that 
I don't know how to explain this. Like, it's the only thing that, like, other than that, we're, like, exactly alike. We're like twins, except I'm a guy and she's a chick. But we're like twins, except I'll say, did you ever see that episode of Cheers when Sam and Diane were in that jet? And she's like, I don't know what you're talking about. How about Rhoda? Did you ever see Rhoda? No. Mary Tyler Moore show? Negative. Have you ever heard of the Dick Van Dyke show? Negative. Ask me, uh, tell me a show that you watched and ask me if I've seen it. Watch this. When you were a kid, what did you watch? Like in eighth grade, were you watching a TV show? Yeah, I was watching Lost. I was not watching that. Okay, what about when you were younger? Merry Melodies. Never heard of it. Well, that was like a, not the name of the show. Oh, well, what was the name of the show? Um, Felix the Cat. Oh. Yeah, and Felix the Cat, sure. Oh, the professor Dragon Mark Tales. Dragon Dragon Tail time. Dragon Tail Tarot. Is that what you're talking about? You were watching her channel? What? It could have been. Have you seen The Land Before Time? Uh, the Land of the Lost? The land, the land before time. What, what else did you watch? Dra Dragon Tail. Dragon Tail. That's the show that you watched, right? Yeah. Dragon Tail. Do you know of this show? Does any, Has anybody ever seen this show? Is that the cartoon with the little dra cute dragons? Yeah. Oh, I've seen it. I know what it is. I, I haven't watched it. They're adorable. Um, I'm a time traveler after all. Now, so so wait a minute. So so you, how old were you when you were watching that cartoon? Um, seven or eight. Seven or eight. When I was seven or eight, I was watching Gilligan's Island, the Johnny Carson show, um, F Troop, and. Um, Gilligan's Island, Lucille Ball, The Lucy Show, um, Cartoon Wise, Bugs Bunny, and um, Bugs Bunny's good. Yeah, Bugs Bunny's a classic. And um, that would probably be about it. But when I came home from school, I went right to the TV and I watched Gilligan's Island. It's a, it's true. And my mother took me to the doctor because she was worried about me. This is true. And I explained to him that I felt great, but I just wanted to watch Gilligan's Island. There's, there's nothing wrong. And he explained it to my mother. That's This is a true story. I'm very well adjusted. I've watched a lot of, lot of TV. 